Okay, so NDI, right? Network device interface. So this takes two computers and allows them to talk to each other over the network through a video feed. So where you can send video and sound to one device and or that device and send it back to the other device. Um, however you have it set up. No capture card needed. No audio interface needed between the two devices. The network protocol just works. So that being said, with OBS, there is a little bit of a um, lag time for getting OBS 28 updated with the new NDI. I don't know if they're going to use the old NDI or if they're going to move it up to 5.5, whatever. It's in process. If you go to the compatibility of NDI, it says OBS NDI for version 28 is in progress. So we're going to do it in 27. Um, if you already have NDI set up, you can move past this, and I'll put the timestamps down below. You can move past this. There is a workaround to get it working right now while uh, the developers are working on getting it you know, updated to 28. So if you already have NDI, just go ahead and move past. If you don't, we're going to start from the beginning on how to get this installed and get it up and running. Um, so let's get into that part. Also, if you do find any of my videos helpful, uh, it would be greatly appreciated if you could hit that like button. It moves the videos up in YouTube's algorithm. If you like the videos that I'm putting out and want more of them, um, subscribe, notifications, all that YouTube stuff. OBS, right? So you need OBS installed, obviously. So we got a blank version of OBS right here and is 27.2.4. And this is gonna be rather quick how to set this up. So you need to go get the OBS NDI plugin, right? Again, all the things, all the websites I use and have went to are gonna be in the description, but this is OD, the OBS NDI plugin, right? You go to download, download. Down here, if you scroll down, we'll have the section with your operating system on it. Um, just download the one that you have. Windows, obviously, the installer, so we're going to go ahead and click that. Open the file so we can install it. Yes. Next, next, install. If you have OBS still open, it will ask you to close it, so we're going to say next. Accept the agreement for in the new tech. This is the actual uh, developer of this DI protocol, so um, just go ahead and accept their agreement. It's putting their stuff in the back end so you can talk to the two computers over your network. While we're on that subject, the computers have to be, the two computers have to be on the same network. There is a way to route it outside of your network, but that's that's out of scope for here. If you guys want to see that, I can do a video on that at a later date. Anyway, uh, hit next. It will install the the new new tech NDI for runtime. Hopefully, with the newer version, that it will be. Um, NDI 5, which has a little bit more advanced features. So anyway, hit next. I've already got it installed. It's asking me, do you want to install it in the folder anyway? Yes. Yours may not ask that. It, it may just install. So anyway, hit yes. Next. Install. It may ask for a runtime, uh, like a C++ redis redistributable to be installed. May or may not ask for that. If it does, say yes. That's just some um, dot, net, dot network framework that needs to be added in the back end. So hit finish. It'll ask if you want to restart your computer. Say yes. I'm going to hit no because I've already got it installed. Okay, at this point, we can start back up OBS. And now from here, if you go into tools, you'll see a new option that says NDI output settings. <clears throat> you have a preview output, which shows you the a preview of what's being outputted. And then you have the main output. Now, this main output right here means that when you check mark this, whatever you check mark this is the device that is broadcast. So I'm on this computer right now. If I wanted to broadcast this to another computer, I would check mark that main output and then I'd, you know, give it a name. I'm not going to check mark this one as main output. This one's the one that's going to receive. My Mac, I have already got set up uh, for NDI to push over here. So we will click OK. And then we need to go down to sources and click on the add button. You'll see a new option that says NDI source. Click on that. Create new and you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Mac because it's my Mac and then click OK. You'll come up with this, the properties of the Mac, you'll see the source name. Now, you need that main button check marked on whatever device you are sending it to, right? So, click a little fly out, and you'll see the MacBook right there. Click on it, and then click OK. And there it is. Let's make this, let's scale this a little bit. And there it is. I'm moving this out around on the, on my Mac, and, and I'll show you here in just a second. Let's get this dizziness off the screen. We'll turn it around here for you. Okay, move the mouse. 
this is everything that's on my on 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 my Mac. And just to show you, we'll, we'll cut this preview window window here. So we don't have we don't have any preview, right? But if I go up here to on my Mac on the tools and go to my NDI, NDI output settings, I've got that main output checked, right? And then the main output is Mac, and that and that is NDI uh, for 27 or anything below 28. Now, with regards to 28, we need to upgrade both of these, and I will show you how to get it working on 28 until they fully upgrade it. So let's get into that part. Okay, so we're back, and as you can see, this is a little bit different of a uh, UI. I updated it to OBS 28. As you can see, OBS 20104. I'm gonna close this down and reopen it real quick. You'll notice that it says, the following plugins failed to load OBS NDI. So going back to the compatibility list, OBS NDI is um, going to work unless you do a workaround until they get it fully fixed. So we need to remove, remove this. Um, if you don't know how to remove plugins, I showed that on another video, it'll be up on the top. I'll go ahead and remove this and then we'll get into getting OBS NDI to work through the workaround. Okay, so now that we've got the plugins removed, let's go ahead and get this working. Okay, as before, the path and the location for this to be able to download is in the description. But anyway, for the workaround, this is the alpha may or may not work depending on your system. But anyway, you can go here and try. Um, go down here to Windows. Make sure you download the right one. You're either 64-bit or 86, which is 32-bit. We're going to go 64 Click it. It's going to download, open the file. This is the plugin right here. Data, all this stuff right here. You need to take these two files right here, your DLL and your PNB, and we need to put it in OBS. We're gonna copy these, go on your C drive, program files, and then down to OBS Studio. Plugins, 64 bit. We're gonna drop them in here. Continue, continue. Okay, so we got this folder data after we put the plugins where they were supposed to go. Take this data folder and inside your OBS directory, we're going to open up data. We're going to open up data right here. OBS plugins. You're just going to do, there's going to be a file in here that you need to put in the exact place. So we need to go down to locale and we'll drop it in there. Replace. It's a workaround, right? Now we need to restart OBS. It's asking for runtime five. We're going to go ahead and get this, right? So it is NDI five. It's going to install the new version. Click finish. Okay. So now you see that we've got NDI five after restarting OBS. Click on that. We're going to create a new source. We're going to, again, we're going to name it the same thing, Mac. Okay. So now that everything is configured, we do the same thing as last time. Look for that. And as you can see, the alpha is working on version 28. Now this is the workaround until the full thing gets done. It's a little bit more um, intensive, labor intensive to get it installed on a Mac. There's a couple more clicks. It's what there are on Windows. Anyway, if you have any questions, if this helped you, if it didn't help you, um, can we do all the YouTube stuff? Uh, I have another video coming that has to do with networking also that has to do with WebSockets. If you want to check that out, that's up in the corner. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Hope this helps.